Mm -hmm. All right, the time has finally come. The house tour is ready. But first, I'm gonna run you through a quick before and after of each room, probably like a minute's worth, so you can see the full transformation. It's pretty insane, so here we go. Hey, how's it going, guys? Georgia here, and this is me and Emily's tiny little house. We just got it. We just got the keys a couple days ago. We got... Alright, before we walk in I show you the tour of the house. We got a whole bunch of plants that are actually growing really quick. Look, we got some bees pollinating them. Yeah, these are growing. This one's growing really fast, especially. We got the brand new gutters, new paint. This will be here forever. This has been here like day one, still here. It'll be here next Halloween and the one after that. We got Jack still there. Let's go in. Alright. Starting with my favorite room of the house. Pretty much my main room I'm in. We got my Halloween decorations still. This is just inspiration to draw a little bit. So we'll start over here. Got my drawing cart. 
just got all my stuff I need, all my pencils, my pens, my headphones, rollers, white out, and I got my different paint brushes, my different pencils. These are really important, my lining pens, all different thicknesses of pen ink for outlines and stuff. Got this rock I'm gonna paint into a shark. Eventually, it just looks like a shark, just do a little mouth here. One day, I found this on the beach at Gandhi, so. You got my old drawing books. Actually, not that old, but so when I started taking drawing seriously, what was it? This one, 32320. Which I really started to want to draw again. So I filled up this book. Got a couple other books. My watercolor paper. Just got my art profile. It's a couple paintings I've done. The ones I actually liked, I put up here. I have a little, little board of all my paintings I've couple ones I actually liked over the last year or so. Let me see. This is probably my favorite one. This is one of my first paintings too. This is actually a print because I posted this painting on Instagram and some kid actually messaged me to buy the original. So this is the first picture I've ever sold. I gave him the original and I gave him a big print and a bunch of other free prints and stickers and stuff. And this one, this one took me the longest. I had it set there for so long without me painting it. Like the drawing sat there for like a week or two. Cause I'm still learning how to paint very much. Don't even know what I'm doing, but having a lot of fun learning. There's a few drawings I actually like that I've done in the last year or so. And some Halloween stuff. Nightmare Before Christmas page. Pumpkin Scythe. Shy Guys. Some Beatles. I like this page, Beatles. More pumpkins. Bugs. Learn and draw some animals. A rhino. like this page. Beetles. Bird skulls. I like drawing bird skulls. It's based on my next tattoo I want. Mm -hmm. Alright, then we got my my smaller book. That beetle, jaws, eyeball, like that one. More beetles, sights, some skull practice, mushrooms, shit, deer, piece, brick, heart, this little scythe head lady, and the witch hand. That's the last thing I drew. Some of my drawings. Been drawing a lot, filled up like three books now. Okay, I forgot to show this earlier, but also in this binder of some of my first paintings. Let's see, is that one? I have my uh, my sticker collection in the back. Got a decent sticker collection going. So these got some Nightmare Before Christmas on the left, and then just like a variety mushroom pack here on the right. Got some Tom Strom, just cards that came with the prints I bought off him. Got a bunch of those. Come on. Got some welcome stickers, a zero misled youth sticker, some happy hour stickers I just got. Some Ben stickers, sacred crow packs. We got this pizza brain sticker, a pizza shop in Philly. Aunt Walsh, Grim Tat, Angelo. Oh, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite stickers I have. Really like it. Oh my. And the last page I got is these Instagram as at Art Sharks. He just does some cool sharks. Yeah. That's my sticker collection. 
Then we got this is where I actually do my drawing. So most of the time, I'll hear I'll be here or I'll go over to my computer desk because it's easier to listen to music over there. Josh Coates, he gave me this one. This is Ben who does some of my tattoos. It's one of the prints he's done. Over there, I got a little nice little view. I feel like I'm just opening this up while I'm drawing. Look out at the woods. Sometimes I see some deer over there, all kinds of stuff. My skateboard. Got a new one on the way. This one's getting a little crusty and rusty. Keep that there for now. Then we got my magazine collection. I got all different skateboard magazines throughout the year. Starting with Thrashers, the Shane Cross Thrasher right here. I just ordered that even though it's a 2007. June 2007, but they still sell it on the Thrasher website. And we got all my trans worlds from when I was younger. I got like 24 of them. Most of them are ripped up, but at least the spine is good enough condition to save. But let's see, there's some good ones in here. A lot of random, Jamie Thomas. Somehow, these are all just in a box in the basement. I was like, why don't I just display them? Because they're actually pretty cool. A bunch of Focus skate mags. This was East Coast Skateboard mag. It was around for a while. I don't think they don't make them anymore, but if you go to a skate shop, they just hand you these out for free most of the time. Skate John and a CCS, just because I was in one of these, but I don't have the actual one I was in. And I used to get CCS all the time. I don't even shop there anymore, but I just have one for memory. This is just a, for a filler for right now. I got my PBT keycap upgrades when I upgraded to lime green on my uh, Razor Huntsman Mini. So for now, until I get more Thrashers, because I just subscribed to Thrasher, so I get one every month now. So that'll fill this up pretty good. Then we got my books, starting with Nation. It's a snowboard DVD. This is the only snowboard video I have, and it's like the best one ever. I watched it like 30 times. Forrest Bailey is the best part in here, but it's really good, and it's like a limited edition. They made 2,000. I think I said I have like number, I don't know, it's blocked out, it doesn't even say. But I got one. And then I got a lot of reference books and stuff to teach me how to draw. Like, I really love rhino beetles, so this is just like all about them as a pet and a hobby. I don't want one as a pet, I just wanted to know all about them. Like, they're pretty much like, I think it said one of the strongest animals in the world. They can, uh, they can carry a hundred times their body weight. It's just some crazy stuff about them, but they're really cool. And then I got insects of North America. So if I like find a bug or something in the backyard, I can kind of just figure out what it is and know all about it. Like, for example, keep finding centipedes, where are they? See all different ticks. We got tons of ticks out here. I gotta, oh, here we go, house centipedes. So I've been seeing these a lot. And then now this book helps me find out that they're nocturnal. They only come out at nighttime and uh, they're mating during the night while we're sleeping, so you never really see them. You never see them mating, but they're just multiplying and multiplying, and they can live for like a year or two, so it's kind of crazy. But they eat all the bad bugs, like all those big spiders and cockroaches and stuff, so said not to kill them, just let them do their thing. But if you see too many, that means you could be infested with bugs, so it could be a bad thing. Then we got my grandma donated me a whole bunch of books on drawing, like when I started to really want to learn again. Drawing on the right side of the brain. This is a book I read that really helped. Pretty much all it tells you in this entire book is that you need to break down what you're drawing into shapes. And once you can see an object as shapes and not just like a complex drawing, then it makes everything easier. So if you just look at something, break it down into shapes, you can draw it a lot easier. And you can actually think about how it could be simply drawn. Ordered a whole bunch of reference books. This was, yeah, this was my sister's when she was younger, but it helped me draw just like to start out like simple forms into ana or into different insects. Some cool ones in here. A couple beetles. It's a luna moth, I like the scarab beetle. So yeah, this was good practice when I'm just starting out. And I got same thing here. I ordered this one, 50 animals, basic shapes into simple animals. This one was a little bit too simple, honestly, but it'll be great for summer when she's practicing drawing stuff. Then this is like the more complex one. It really breaks down how to draw animals with like forms and line of action. It shows like perspective and can break down the animal by shape like I was saying. These are the, all the shapes you need to make anything, any animal. That's just all you need. 
It's pretty cool. This book's definitely helping me. It's just a lot. It's a lot to take in at once. But this is a great book. And then I got these two reference books that are just, this one's just skulls and anatomy. So if I'm just practicing drawing a certain piece of the body or a skull, there's tons of references, different angles, all different kinds of stuff. Or like a skeleton, try on rib cages or anything. Just use this, it helps me out. Same as this book, it's just animal skeletons. So this just has some really cool pictures, so if I get better at drawing, I want to draw some of this stuff. And uh, let me see, there's some cool ones in here. Like this bat, I love to draw this and then paint the bones like glow in the dark or something. World of MC Escher, another book my grandma gave me. This is pretty cool. These are pretty insane. A lot of these are just so complex and detailed and just everything is perfect proportion and they're just insane like these staircase ones house of stairs one and then there's house of stairs two some got optical illusions i think i got this at five below one day just a cool little book on optical illusions so who doesn't like optical illusions they're pretty sweet like if you stare at this one stare at the center uh, and the whole piece starts moving like gears it's crazy this happens immediately. There's a cat with a rat face, or a mouse face, but it's make the whole picture makes a cat. I love stuff like that. So when my uncle passed away, we were cleaning out his house, and I just came across this book. Don't even know what it's about, it's just trippy pictures. And we just found it, and I saved it, because it was pretty cool. Just crazy stuff in there. Coloring books, we got a book on mushrooms, to identify and gather wild fungi and other mushrooms. Just a cool book, just to identify mushrooms, you find them in the backyard, see if they're edible or poisonous, or what you can do with them. Because a lot of mushrooms, some mushrooms, can be like meat replacers. And they taste really good. I got chicken of the woods, and uh, shiitakes, so many. I haven't tried too many, but those are some that are vegan recipes, three books in one. We've got main dishes, desserts, quick and easy, so many good things. We've tried a couple of them, but we know what we like, so we always end up making the same food. So. <laughs> spicy vegan. It's everything I eat spicy. I don't think I've made anything from this book, though, just because they don't have pictures, so I can't like visualize it as much. But. Oh, we've had two juicers, they both have ended up breaking on us. So. This one was from when I was like a real young kid. The Magic Eye number three. It's a new dimension of art. It's just all stuff like this. It's no pictures, you can't see anything until you press your nose on it for like three minutes. You focus, you don't blink for like two, three minutes. And then once like you stare and you focus enough, the picture pops out three dimensionally and it's crazy. It just takes a lot of focus, like can't be distracted by anything, you can't blink, nothing. But this is what you see, and then this is what will pop out at you. Here's some examples. It'd be like dinosaurs, or a T-Rex, a sailboat, a castle. Like all this will pop out of nothing. You just have to focus on it enough. Roller coaster. At a yard sale for 50 cents, a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Weird New Jersey, Jersey Devil, a whole bunch of stuff. Summer's here. Let's go see. We'll move on to the PC. So I got my PC about like seven, eight months ago. It was only one in stock, so I had to drive to Philly. End up getting the last one with a 2070 Super, and then they come out. They came out with like the 30 series right after this, and I don't even know if they make that anymore. But I got it for a pretty fair price, so I was happy with that. And I started out with this Corsair. K70 MX or something like that. This was a friend's keyboard. He sold it to me super cheap, so I'd have a good mechanical keyboard. And uh, I really liked it. It was just, the size was a little big, so I switched over and I got this uh, Razer Huntsman. And uh, the Huntsman Mini with linear switches in it. And I really like it because it gives me so much more room to move around. I kind of play like this anyway. And if I just did this motion, I would smack into this all the time. So like, I honestly, I do like the, the keys and the switches a little better on this, but these are a little softer and a little like spongier, I guess. But uh, just having the room is just so much better. Like the 60% makes it 
And I love it. I got the green, uh, the green keycaps. I could put them wherever I wanted. This is the design I went with. But I couldn't be happier with this setup here. Then I got my original Mac, which is like a 2016. And uh, yeah, this functions with it, so it's perfect. I don't have to use the little magic keyboard anymore because I really didn't like that thing. And I can use a good keyboard when I edit. So I just usually, I only use this computer for editing and I game on this computer. So we got the YouTube award up there for 100,000, which I'm at, I was at like 249,000 and I'm heading on my way back down to 100,000. So we'll see <laughs> how that goes. But. All right, so we've got these Josh Coates pieces. We got Warrior in the Garden number two. I got copy one out of 20. And I got Samurai, or Psychedelic Samurai, copy 11 out of 20. He does awesome raffles on his Instagram page where he'll do like an original piece and then do like 20 prints of it. And then each time you buy a print, you get entered in a raffle to win the original art. So that's pretty sweet, he does that. I love this tiger, trippy tiger he did. It's one of my favorite pieces I got from him. And then we got, we got my sickle and my scythe. Probably my favorite thing in the house. It took like six, seven months to actually hang it because it's pretty scary and Summer likes to play in here. So like we got it, it's like seven different hooks all over and then it's tied with like wire, tied with wire there, there and at the top and then it's tied with fishing wire and it's, just, it's sealed up there forever. Probably, safe. I'll probably never take it down, but I really love this thing. Thought about staining it, making it look real nice, but I'm just gonna keep the antique look. I actually got it from the app Offer Up, and I met a guy at a Wawa, and he <laughs> like walked across the parking lot with it in his hand, and I brought it home from there. And it's, I love this thing. Super cool, and it's like inspiration when I'm drawing because I always draw sites, so I can like look at one and actually draw one based on a real one. When I got my PC, I planned on originally doing PC with a PS5 controller, which I did for a while. And I still play skater with this, so I still have a use for it. But the skater is the only reason I have this. And yeah, I just, once I switched to mouse and keyboard, I could never go back. It is so much smoother to aim, is just to edit in Fortnite and to aim in any game is so smooth. To do this instead of this is just. Well, you can click right the on The difference that. is unbelievable. Like, you can literally just boom, to snipe, just boom. Instead, you're just like lining up like this, mm -hmm. and I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't even go back to this at all. But with Skater, it's awesome. We got some sticker collection. We got Zero, we got Ben, Dave, we got some sharks. This is all just extra stuff. Summer's got a bunch of coloring books. We got my keyboard, some puzzles. Her little laptop, her little tablet. We got a box of more coloring books and just my old keyboards and stuff. Here's my headset. We got Razer Krakens. Super comfortable, super affordable, and they're lime green, so I love them. <laughs> my whole setup is pretty much lime green. This could be anything, but went with the lime green, lime green, lime green. And then we went to Five Below, got these. They happen to come in lime green, so five bucks for those. Yeah, I'm really happy with my setup. I could never go back to console, and I never thought I would actually make the change. It was between a PS5 and this, and I'm so happy I went with this. Yeah, I love it too. Okay, so this is the closet we had them add in since they didn't even have any closet space at all, pretty much in the whole house. Top shelf, we got all headwear, hats, we got winter hats, we got trucker hats, we got beanies, then we got a little fox bin of more hats, we got focus hat, snowboard goggles, we got tie-dye hats, we got lime green hats, we got ninja turtle hats, we got army hats, we got goldie hats, a vegan restaurant in Philly. Pizza Forever, this was sent to me from a fan. Pizza is everything. We got bandanas, just more beanies, beanies, beanies. A couple five pound weights, I'm trying to work out, get big. Might upgrade these to 10 pounds one day. Who knows? Got my back roller since my sciatica nerve is just terrible. So like, gotta stretch my hamstring out, I gotta roll it, like put my back on this, just mainly just roll it on my lower back and like under here. It helps, but stretching, just stretching alone helps, honestly, more. Got these. Her bracelets she makes. Some Play-Doh. This all is all Play-Doh. Yeah. The real deal. This is more Play-Doh accessories, markers, chalk, other stuff that we don't want her to have by herself. 
We got all our winter gear, anything long sleeve, hoodies, jackets, all this jazz. It's one of my favorites here. And we got my striped one. Really like that one. We got this was given to me from a company off Instagram. Skeletons. Got my backpack. Tie-dye hoodies. More stripe. I love stripes. Stripe hoodies. Our shoes. Snowboard boots. Boom. This is the only kind of shoe I have in here. I have like seven pair. Emily's got her bands. Her vacuum cleaner. We got our broom. A little storage closet, but fits everything we need. That's pretty much this room. We'll take you into the living room. Starts with a nice little beanbag chair. We got the house set at a cool 75, but it's so hot outside, it's still 78 in here. We screwed our, uh, our fan remote into the wall. Right there. It's pretty nice and convenient. Then we got my Ben wall. This is who I've been getting tattoos by most recently. His Instagram's Ben OZ. Ben OZ tattoos. So these are from a magazine, I think Skin Art magazine I ordered. And he had like a little interview in it, so I printed or I framed them up. Put them in there, tried to cut it as neat as possible in that month, in that middle there. And that's actually my leg there. Right here is this witch hand he did on me. Super cool. Really like that one. Uh, this is Aunt Wash. This is who did both of my hands, both Emily's hands. He did this uh, Luna Moth, he did this bear. Yeah, he was our guy before I started going to this guy, Ben, because he started doing ant switch to more of a traditional style, and we like the neo-traditional. So yeah, here's the ant piece, this is the print. This is actually an original that I got from Ben on my last tattoo session. He's super hyped on that, it's the only copy of it. He, he did that in 2020, I think it was like during COVID. And then this is a print I just got off Ben. So this is the print and this is an original. I really like this, it's like his newer way he does snakes, it's like the older style way he did snakes. And these are just a whole bunch of like tattoo designs that were in there. This is my most recent tattoo, my throat. That's the drawing. I love to, I love to save all the drawings because you get the tattoo and then you also get the piece of art that's just customly made for you. So I frame them. I try and frame them all now. It's like another original. And it was based off this bug, this rhinoceros beetle, which I'm super into. It's like my favorite animal right now. And this is an actual taxidermy rhino beetle that we bought from, uh, came from Thailand. Took like three months to get here and it came with the weirdest smell. It came with a, Emily thought it was formaldehyde, but it was actually just a mothball. You can see it's a little bit of residue in the corner. So I had to open it up, cut out the mothball, and we put a, uh, air freshener. we put a strawberry air freshener behind it because it did have a bad odor at first and it was just mothballs. So it smelled like an old person's house. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but Emily hated it. So yeah, I love this thing. It's so cool, so pointy on the top and just, it's like the coolest creature ever. I really love them. I guess first we got Tom Strom. He did this uh, three, p three pack series. He made 40 of them on Instagram. I ended up getting one. I was super hyped on it. I got copy number four and he signed them all. But yeah, I love it. It's super cool. He did three animal series. I love the deer one the most. And then there's the bat and the rat. And the rat's all like in a skull bush. It's super awesome. But I think this is my, the deer is my favorite. I just love the pointy fingers on the hand, the deer, it's just so cool. Holding it, yeah. I mean, the bat's awesome too, but. Yeah, then I got this Ryan Murray piece. I think this is my favorite piece in the whole house. It's pretty, it's just so cool. I want to get a tattoo based off it. Just with like a colored pumpkin. But like, the legs are just so cool. They kind of look like scythes, so I love them. Yeah. Then we go over here, we got a Mary Tattooer. It's Instagram name. From the UK, right? Yeah, he's from somewhere pretty far away. That took a long time to get here. And we had to pay like $30 in shipping. This is Sacred Crow. We got Angelo. These two prints, we both, me and Emily, made a trip out. We each got tattooed by this guy. We got this ghost pumpkin with the lantern, and then she got a lover's piece. We really like his work, and then we bought these two prints off him. Super cool. He's like three hours away. Yeah, it was, like, it was a trip. We stayed out. We got tattoos back to back, and it was an awesome experience. Then I'll take you over to the DVDs. So first three rows, all skateboarding. We got my first, some of my first ones ever right here on VHS. This is 4-1 issue 51, Flip Sorry, and America This Is Skateboarding were the first videos I had in my collection on here. And then I just went crazy. And like, I was ordering like sometimes like 14 videos at a time. And like, there's so many videos here. There's some I haven't even seen, some I haven't even opened. 
Like, I just got this. I've always wanted it. It's the Zero an Anthology from 1996 to 2006. I have some of the videos in it. I don't have all of them, but it's just, I've always wanted this, and I just, I don't know if I'll ever open it. But I have every single Zero video. This I got, thing is packed. I got Dying to Live, New Blood, Strange World, Cold War, Damn It All, and the Anthology. I got all the videos I've ever been in. I got Clock In, Clock Out, TPFL, 856 video. Then I was in Sabotage 2 and Sabotage 3. Just like a couple of tricks in them. And then, yeah, so I got videos like these two trans worlds. I might have seen them. I don't think I ever, I might not have seen them, but not even open because I was going so crazy and ordering so many I couldn't even watch them. I'm sure there's a lot more in here that I've never even opened or seen. But Yeah, so those are even this Tampa 2000. That's a super old one. And then down here is all my skateboard videos that are in this weird shape, the little squares. So many good ones. Thrasher, Bacon Destroy, Bag of Sucks. So many. So many memories. But, uh, and then they've got Golden Age of Skateboarding. This was filmed in my backyard at my parents' house when I was like 12 and 13. And JT has footage in it. So one of a kind? One of a kind. Only one left and it's probably scratched. i got another stack of just What the Fuck's a Bashinsky. That was a good one growing up. Feed the Knee. Just a lot of companies made them in this small form. There's tons of them. One day I might do a whole, I think I might have gone over all my skate videos, but I, oh, like I said it before, I'll do like a top 10 and like go over my favorite skate videos, favorite parts and everything. And then we got this big box of right foot forward. I bought that when I was in California. Got all South Park seasons, I'm missing like two. And then we got Beavis and Butthead seasons and every Jackass, I got every, I got the box set from all their TV episodes and Jackass one, two, three, then CKY one through three, four, then the dudes in, then Steve-O, Rick and Morty season one through four, and it. <laughs> and then I got this Sayosin album with the Beatle. I love those Beatles. These were custom made just for here. It's pretty awesome. You really don't see many shelves like this with metal and triangles like this, but. Originally we were gonna do wood, but then our builder suggested this metal shape and it came out really cool. So that we can get as many rows as possible without yeah, using. Yeah, and it just fits perfectly. Then we take it to the second to the last row and it's just like, I got some horror movies. We got just funny movies, stoner movies. We got How High Half Baked. We got Dude Worth My Car, Dumb and Dumber, Pineapple Express, Cheech and Chongs. <laughs> and I got my like music ones. I got Anti-Flag, Pink Floyd. The last 24 hours of Jimi Hendrix this is really good. Okay. Got Summers, she's got a little stack going. And I got this in a skateboard contest to hold our waters and beer and stuff. A little custom coaster. Um, we go over here. This is a guy, a tattoo artist, R&B. I bought his t-shirt and I liked it so much and it fit a little snug on me so I decided to just frame it instead. And honestly, it came out even cooler in the frame. And yeah, it's, this is one of my favorite things on the wall. We started going crazy. We seen a deal on this, uh, I think it was Instagram or Google, I don't know, but this place, easycanvas.com, had like a 90% off sale. So like all these canvases were only like $13.99 each. So we just started going crazy. We ordered like, we, my parents bought me two for Christmas. I think these two. And then we ordered like four. And then we just ordered another batch of five, but we love them. We got Summer at like first year. Like this is probably the youngest one. She was like five or six months old. And then we got her from the ages like one to two. So like her younger years, we got a lot of great pictures. Got Luna Moth up there, some family photos, her drinking a kombucha in front of her parents' old house. Me yeah. and you. Yeah, I took, I took that butterfly picture at Gandhi's. Yeah, these are all pictures from my iPhone that we just had printed out onto these canvases. And I love how they do the side art too. So if you're walking past them on the side, it just like mirrors the image. So it looks perfect on everything. And like looking on the side, it looks so good. Those are so, so cool. Yeah, well probably, and then I have a piece, my friend's working on a piece for me right here. It's just not done yet, so that'll eventually be filled up. Won't be a gap there. There's another cool coaster. Okay, so we got our couch here. Originally, we were gonna go with a super expensive, like triple the price couch that was only gonna give us like a wall to like right here. And then last minute, the day before we were gonna go, I looked up a couch and found this one. And it was like perfect dimensions to the T. Like it was like literally like a millimeter past the wall. And then like. This little gap is perfect. We were scared we weren't gonna fit through, but like even if you're like 300 pounds, you're still fitting through. There's no problem. I never even came close to hitting this ever. So 
So that was an issue we were scared of, but it actually worked out. Got a bunch of these random, I guess they're called throw pillows. They're from Ikea. I don't know if you even use them. Sometimes I use them, but... They're really, they're like down yeah. feather, so he doesn't like Tell them. Tell you the truth, like, I've slept on a lot of couches, and this one, like, I've passed out a whole bunch of nights in here. And just like, I can stick my arms in here, and just, these themselves work as good pillows, so. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Then I got a random little black and white blanket for whoever sleeps on the couch. And we were at a thrift store, found this table, it was like $30. It's perfect. It's a perfect little chair. It doesn't fit under the table, but this is where Summer plays. She's got her Orbeez, these are her first batch ever. Pretty sweet, honestly. She's eating her clementines, but she actually is taking a nap right now. This is like a throwaway table she can put stickers on or yeah, paint she, on. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter if we get markers on it. She eats dinner there, she colors, she plays all her toys on here. So yeah, I'm pretty much the only one who eats up here. But take you to the TV. We got, this is our old TV Emily bought me when I lived in Philly. It's still good. We're gonna upgrade, but then we, we were like, why? So we just, this is perfect. We bought this little uh, entertainment center. I got all my old games, my PS4, Super Nintendo, GameCube, and then the Wii U, which these just collect dust, really. They're just like antiques that I like having, and I'm sure like people will come over and we'll play GameCube, because I got like six controllers, but mainly I just use the PS4. We just use it for all our apps, and just, I movies. got movies, all my DVDs. It plays Blu-rays, everything, it's perfect. Then uh, I showed my video game collection many times, but in here we got all Wii accessories, all my Wii games, all my Wii U games, and it goes like double back. And this we've got PS4 games, and then some PS2, I got Grand Theft Auto 3, two different covers. And I got Grand Theft Auto Vice City and San Andreas for PS2, don't, don't even own a PS2 right now, but used to. Got my scuff, you guys know I don't like this. It's just literally, this is all it is now. I can stare at it. It looks cool, but it doesn't even function. doesn't work. I would never spend another dollar on this. I have a couple videos talking about it if you really want to know if you should get a scuff or not. Um, PS4 collection. I'll probably get back into some of these games. Like, I still have Tony Hawk 1 and 2. It's fairly new. And Resident Evil 2, I haven't beat that yet. But Bloodborne, one of my favorite games of all time. Open this up. We got all my GameCube collection and my Super Nintendo collection. And that was also double back, but I don't feel like taking them all out because I've already showed all those before. Then we just got accessories, tons of chargers. Everything's using Type-C chargers now. Got all that. Uh, we got the bar. This is pretty much where I only eat dinner. I eat on this corner, watch TV. Emily eats on the couch, Summer eats here. But we could all eat here if we wanted to. Even four people. We Sometimes could, we do. We could put another chair there. These yeah. were really cool though, these bar stools. Yeah. yeah, they're perfect. They don't stick out too much, they're hidden and we were thinking about doing back supports but like these we hide these hide tuck. yeah, these tuck in really nice. Then we enter the kitchen, which we got our nice little rug, our sink, multi functional. We just wanna do that or that. Sink's actually pretty nice. I don't really use it, Emily's the dish disher. Dish cleaner. The disher, washer. We got some all natural hand soap. Oh, natural hand soap. Back here on display, we got a pink flamingo, we got a cactus, some vape juice, another cactus, some of the big seasonings. We got turmeric and a big garlic, and then our avocado oil. Hate using oil, but if I can, I'd use sunflower seed oil and avocado oil. Got this little love, Summer's little Pez refills. I mean, this is just random stuff, it changes every other season really we got our coffee coffee shelf we got our two normal mugs i got my thrasher skate and destroy mug which already broke oh, oh shit yeah it's got a chip in it but it's okay it's a perfect size mug got our stove got some french fries in there i burnt to burnt the hell out of them earlier where we keep all of our Be utensils careful. and whatnot this is the best knife. It's the one I cut everything with. That's the nice serrated edge. Yeah, we got the dino pasta scooper for soup, as well as scooping pasta. Georgie was pressing tofu and used this and it fell off the counter. Remember? Oh yeah, I chipped this thing. It's pretty, it's got some good weight, good for pressing tofu. The spice cabinet. We got crushed red, some organic Cajun chili powder. 
Italian, more turmeric, paprika, and more cayenne pepper. And we got more turmeric. We really like the turmeric. This is the pepper I like. I like grinding my pepper like this, like where it's big and you grind it down. We got the Himalayan pink salt. It's the only salt we really buy. It's not the worst for you, but we don't really put salt on much. Cumin, 100% need this if you're making a tofu scramble. This is like the main ingredient. Then look at this, vegan. Bacon bits, who would have known? Bacon bits are vegan. We like them on potatoes. Only or... thing bad that we don't like in here is the red dye three. Terrible for you, but. Can't avoid is, it yeah, all the is, time. We don't even eat them unless we're making like potato skins or something. That's the only reason we use that. And then summer sprinkles. And then in the future, we'll, if we have more seasonings, we'll put them down there. This is like the chemicals and trash bags and all that jazz. It's pretty normal stuff. And we got our junk drawer slash utensil drawer. I don't think anyone in the world has a junk slash utensil drawer, but we do. More <laughs> Orbeez, LOL stuff. We got poppets, tape measure, just bag of Random things, stuff. stuff. We clean this out. Bubbles, okay. our utensils. Yeah, it's a junk slash utensils. Underneath is anything from tools. So we got my handboard. We got my other handboard. We got this flat rail. I got a box of all my tech decks. This is the best one. So tech deck released this wooden foam grip board at Target. And once they sold out, they never came back. But I only have one and it's, it's amazing. Got that, got my tool bag. Some board games. We got Scrabble, Sharkopoly, Rick and Mortyopoly. Whenever I go to my grandma's at Gandy's, I always collect sea glass in the summer especially. And we have just like jars of it. Like there's this one. This one, this is just a little like start of what we have. And then I got some bigger ones. This is just sea glass from Puerto Rico. My mom brought back. Got a lot of blues, even got an orange one in there. So I saved that separately. Got some stickers, frisbee. We got operation, more board games. We got categories. Puzzles. Nice. Apples to apples, summer's puzzles. Like hanging up all these picture frames, I got this like multi pack of nails and picture hanging kit. Pens. Yeah, picture hanging kit. I got tons of stuff for those. Okay. I bar for thirteen dollars. Probably the best thing ever. Whenever I'm cooking dinner, I can just skate this little flat bar, and it's incredible. This board is just the board is awesome, but the rail for thirteen dollars. I forget the website honestly, but it was what was it? There's like two sites that make like quality fingerboarding like ramps and rails, and this was. This is one of them. And also for hand boarding, we got, oh, hang on. Perfect hand board table. Still the best. I wish they made these, but I wish they made more of them. We got that, that, then I actually bought this ledge. Well, here's our Keurig that was donated to us. $20, I bought this at Target. It's like for holding desserts or something, but it is like the dream ledge for fingerboards. And it's also incredible for handboarding. Oh, I can get some more. Oh, a little trick with nose ground. Yeah, this thing is sweet, but we just keep our carrying on it when I'm not skating it. Summer loves playing with these tech decks too. If she was awake right now, she'd be messing with all of them. She always brings them out, pretend they're kids, and these are the mommies, and these are the kids. And, <laughs> and our little dolls skate them yeah, too. Yeah, little dolls skate them. Then we got these bats that were made in Russia. They're like a one of kind set. We bought them off Etsy, and they also took like months to get here. And then we got our cool little circle wall, which is a taxidermy Luna moth. We got a whole bunch of glass I found at Gandhi's Beach. These are like some of my favorite pieces. So we got this huge chunk here. We got some tiger's eye. I think I bought that actually. Some more Gandy's glass. We got a piece of citron quartz. I think it's citron quartz. I found this. I don't exactly know where it came from. But another piece of tiger's eye. Found this recently. It's just a perfect rock found on the beach at Gandy's. Just a weird, perfect, straight Square. piece of a... Uh... We got this little baby horseshoe crab. We can go in because I'm not picking it up. Found that on the beach. Okay, so we're back. Uh, my batteries died. Had to charge them up. But 
All right, so I got these potion bottles that we filled with some of my favorite pieces of glass I found at Gandhi's. Some, uh, a lot of blues in there, a couple reds. Reds and blues are the hardest to find, so like, this one is mainly all of our good blues we found, all different turquoise, dark blues, light blues. And we got some reds in there. So this probably took me like a couple months. Like we lived at Gandhi's for a couple months and we found tons of glass. And these are just like my favorite ones that we found. And then we got this little one too. I love the little jars with the cork in it, it's super cool. So yeah, just little sea glass jars. Some more sea glass we found that are just really cool, just single pieces. I like this one a lot. I don't know if I showed this one, where is it? This was my favorite one. It's just a little triangle, I don't know. Something about it. Just love it. It's a cool shape from this one too. And then I bought, this is Summer's Birthstone Amethyst. So we got a nice chunk of that. I think it came from like, somewhere in South America. I forget where exactly, but we ordered it off Etsy. It's super cool, super sharp. Just really nice to look at, nice on the eyes. And then we got these cool lights. Let me see, give you an example. I'll turn the lights off. So when they're dark, they turn on and they glow. Like, but if you shine your camera light on them, anything really just, it just turns to white. You take the light off, as soon as it gets dark, it just Changes lights up. Colors. It's so cool. They're really cheap. They're like eight bucks each. We got two of them. But people say like, if, if you like mess with it and pull it out of the outlet, it'll end up, it might end up breaking. So it's just plastic, so. So that's just like permanently there. And we, we absolutely love it. <laughs> I probably will buy more of those. All right, we got this corner cabinet. It's like some extra pots and pans. We got just random junk. I got like a lot of um, picture frames, all different sizes. Got some hanging material, some wires, zip ties, screws, hooks. Uh, another bag of sea glass, some more pots and pans. This is just extra. Like, we don't really know what to do with this yet. It's just extra pots and pans and stuff, but it's huge. Like it goes so deep in there. We barely use any of that space. So if we needed extra stuff, we got that place. We have cake pans, pictures. Outside yeah. lights, yeah. it's random. All that cool stuff. Then we got our pantry, which it was stocked up the other day. I wanted to have a nice stock, but uh, we started eating it all and all that. <laughs> so we're vegan, so everything in this is vegan. But uh, we got some stuff to make summer, some cakes, some fruit snacks that we get for summer that don't have dyes on them. Blue corn chips, these are the best. Making for guacamole, making nachos, anything. Summer loves this vegan mac. It's absolutely great. Emily and Summer love it to death. I, love I think it. it's pretty good. We got some Velveeta sandwiches. We haven't even tried this, but this is a red lentil spiral with sweet potato pumpkin sauce. It was like, it was just there. We don't know if it's good or not. This is awesome. It's this Indian food. Super easy. We don't have a microwave. That's one thing. We got rid of a microwave and we haven't missed it once. So it's super healthy to not use a microwave. We and cook everything on the, the stove. The only problem is heating up leftovers, but we just pop them in the oven or on the stove and it tastes even better anyway. So we got this. We buy like 10 packs of that at a time. Summer loves this lentil soup. We got spicy chili, peanut butter. We're really into the vegan beef jerky. This one was like, it's pretty good. It's not my favorite. My favorite was made out of mushrooms, but this is just some uh, Gardein. It's a brand that makes vegan stuff. This was pretty good though. Big bar, blueberry. Got this soup in a bag. It's like a whole soup in a bag. And we got some nutter butters, got some caramel corn. Vegan hot buffalo wings. It's just seasoned. It's a no meat in it, nothing like that, no milk. Most things have milk in it, it's crazy. This is a coffee I was liking. I haven't been drinking much coffee. It makes me feel too jittery and feel like shit, honestly. So try not to drink coffee. Different kind of pasta noodles. We got the wheels. Thank the God. Papitas. Papitos. Papi Papi we got the dinner taco kit. This is always varying from cups to bowls to plates. We got our favorite plates. We got Toaster. Summer's Addiction to these lids that are different lids. Toaster. Big bag of jasmine rice. We get one of these like every like three weeks, four weeks. Love this rice. We cook that rice and then we put this Indian food on top of it and it is banging. Or we'll put it inside of a, a tortilla. So good. Tiny taters, fruity pebbles, premium hot gourmet sauce. hot sauces. We yet to try them. And this, we still have tons of room in here. So it's like these, we have only a couple cabinets, but we have so much space. Like even this, this is more extra stuff. It's like taco trays, taco trays. I make uh, macaroni and cheese in this sometimes. More taco trays. We have like seven taco trays. <laughs> Tortilla maker. The outside of the fridge, we got tons of sweet Polaroids. We love these Polaroids so much. 
We got this from postcard from Florida. We got some summer art up here, more summer art. Summer as a baby. We just took these pictures like yesterday or at the skate park. The fridge it gives us filtered water, but then we have a huge filtration system downstairs. And we just get the cleanest, best water ever for free. It's reverse. Not for, well, we bought the system, but now we get the water yeah. whenever we want. We don't buy water. Reverse osmosis. With some ice, and it's just the best because pretty much all we drink is water and beer and coffee really. sometimes. We got the calendar. Wildflower Vegan. It's this vegan cafe near us that we love. They make a bang in buffalo tofu calendar we got tattoos coming up on thursday we're both getting tattoos so we just got the backyard paved that's going to be saved for another video probably but here's my skate park design on a napkin i got a quote from a skate park for this and this and it was outrageous to actually have a real skate park built but we're gonna see i'll probably end up building it all on my own learning how to do all the concrete and all that open her up take you on the inside we got Everything on the top shelf is pickled. We got pickled pickles. We got, my uncle drops off these uh, jalapenos he's pickled. He's giving me like six jars. I've already finished two or three of these full jars and I have like four more. They're incredible. They're not as spicy as usual because they're pickled, I guess. And I just eat them by like the handful. I'll eat them with a fork. And every sandwich I'm eating, nachos, tacos, everything. I'm using these. And I got some of these. Hot cherry peppers, love them. They're actually like almost too hot sometimes. They hurt my stomach, but they're banging. My dad brought over the other day just a random assortment of peppers and tomatoes. They're from his yard. Yeah, he grew all these actually, so. Small fresh produce, hand grown in the backyard. We're gonna have a garden soon too. Not yet though. Next year. Hank's, one of my favorite hot sauces. All the other flavors aren't vegan, but the original flavor is vegan. So good. And it's delicious. Big old grapefruit. <laughs> Big boy here, some lemons, some coconut yogurt. This is our favorite bread. That's Dave's Killer Bread. And then we get the thin slice. It's super good. It's got a lot of seeds in it. And it just tastes great. Got some mushrooms. Got, love putting peppers, mushrooms, onions on everything I eat. So always gotta have mushrooms. Got some empty, empty beer. Summer break, season hazy. Wasn't the best. It was okay. Another taco kit back there, some bell peppers, English muffins, we got a fresh batch of cherries, strawberries, and cantaloupe. Soup Parents vegan. dropped us off soup the other day. We got some dragon fruits because Summer was like, what is that? I want to eat that. I want to try that. So we got two dragon fruits. They're pretty good. I've only eaten a few in my life. We got tapatio, another big contender for first. We got Hank's, tapatio, and sriracha. Like this, I can't throw this away because I could probably use it on one more thing. Diet cheese, this stuff's okay. I don't even know. Mm. It's all right. Beyond the sausage, these are incredible. There's like five different kinds. They taste like real sausage. I mean, we put them on breakfast sandwiches. We put them on onions. We cook them with spaghetti. They're awesome. We got this buffalo tempura or tempeh, buffalo tempeh. I haven't tried it yet, but just picked it up. looks really good. They have a uh, bacon like this that we get. I really like it. We got smart deli plant-based ham. And believe it or not, this is awesome. It tastes pretty damn good. I really like it. Don't like lunch. I never really liked lunch meat that much. It was like, gross to me. Like cold raw meat is just disgusting. But uh, that is awesome. So good. Shredded carrots, a little bit of broccoli, some more veggies. Got some apples, tomatoes. We've been eating up cucumbers. Summer loves cucumbers with Italian dressing. Got a nectarine, some carrots. Oh wait, no, this is the nectarine. Tomatoes, Tomato. apples, Celery. carrots, a bunch of veggies, <laughs> summer's popsicles, got some acai covered in dark chocolate. We got, they've been coming out with so many non dairy uh, Ben and Jerry's, is a new one, Caramel Sutra, <laughs> non dairy. Summer's wow. lollipops, she's saving for the future. We got some plant based meat, curly fries, a big thing of crispy tenders. We make wraps with these or make like the fake chicken nuggets, pretty good. Some real fruit juice popsicles for summer. We got a acai bowl and some lima beans, more popsicles, popsicles, paintbrushes. We don't eat that much frozen food. We try not to. So yeah, that's the fridge right now. Cooking chili. Emily's currently cooking dinner. 
Chili. Stir it real quick. A little bit of chili action. Put this over nachos, or we'll, I'll, put it on, I'll put it on a wrap. Or I'll just eat a bowl of it. Looks looking good. We bought this off a uh, website, I think Society6. This is a sweet little moth mushroom clock. No numbers on it, but it's really cool. We got uh, my sister made me this for Christmas one day. Breaking up some flowers. Take you guys into the basement. We got our little skull in here. So the basement's kind of like, like my old bedroom walls. I got my Jimi Hendrix, my snowboard. Got all my wall boards. This is the newest one, the Grim Reefer. I really like that one. It's like a 2013 deck. They re-released a couple of them. And I got my, my Jaws board. This was my favorite. I bought like 30 of those. Got my Brockman, girl eating herself out. My Neen board that he drew himself. I love this one. Got my Trippy Figgy. My Don Pendleton Nocturnal Club. This was my friend Will's board that he uh, left over my... It's like a filler for right now. I'm gonna get a, a fresh board and put it there. Steve Gandy painted me this one. And this was just a deck. I really like the grip tape. And then my sister painted me that for Christmas one year too. That love. And Georgie yeah. picked this light out. Yeah, the fishbowl light. And then this is just saved for uh, future art and whatever I want really. This board I probably talked about, Shelter Haddonfield. This was the first shop that sponsored me and this is the first deck they gave me and they, he painted me custom grip on it. Super cool. I gotta hang it up somewhere. Got my St. Pauli girl. Did you show the steps? Steps I did. Green and black combo came out sweet. This was the the super secure piece of plywood we had to add to pass code. After we added these throughout the whole freaking thing. Over here we got our extra paint for touch ups for whatever. We got an extra scooter. Got all my posters from my old bedroom that I saved because I wasn't throwing them out. A lot of just junk down here. What's this? A sewing machine? This is a like a mixer for baking. A mixer. This is our big water filtration system. We gotta change our filters out soon, actually. Then we got summer stuff. Just like it's just extra stuff down here. We don't even usually come down this side. But yeah, it's just we got clothes, summer clothes, winter clothes, like decorations for different holidays, my old soccer trophies. Stuff I just can't throw out. Then we used our extra carpet from the loft. Yeah, when when we got the loft carpeted, we had a bunch of extra pieces. So I, I laid it all down here. We got my, my weed leaf walking through. Some extra art down here. I want to hang up this jaw somewhere. This is from my old room. Got a little nightmares poster. And I got this, uh, this uh, what's the guy's name? Gordon. Vincent, Vincent Gordon. Print I bought at a... It was uh, a glass billing trade show. He was there. Uh, for when we get some change in our laundry, put it in there. Whatever's in the pockets. Our sweet laundry washer and dryer. Some more art. This is my sister made me this. We did the whole YouTube video on it. I just don't know where to hang it yet. <laughs> this I painted in 2007. Me, my high school picture, and then my body is a penguin. <laughs> sweet. Then I got this inside of a bell pepper I did in 2006. And I did this one in like 2006. It was May 30th, 2006. And it's just pictures of me making the skyline of Philly. Yeah, not too great. And I got this little station where I can just sit down here. I got some records. I got my old skateboard stuff and just junk really. I got a VHS player. Got some candles. We got some more coloring books, finger paints. But yeah, I really got to set the record player up. I got all these records. More just. All of our other storage, just the storage basement. We got my keyboard. Another board I want to hang up. This Jamie Foy. It's got to go somewhere. Got an extra guitar down here and then just bundles of stuff. This was going to be upstairs, but it collected so much dirt that it was just perfect for down here. And we got the broken fan. Stahlberger Street. That's about it down here. This I love this thing because I collected a lot of good stickers on it. So like it's a perfect little storage cell. So storage shelf and then we can chalk the wall if i really want to summer you used to chalk the floor but we put the carpet yeah. down but yeah then we got the ceiling just coming in our face <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and
and uh, it's kind of annoying, but it's gross. Right? Craziest thing is the bugs I've seen down here. We've seen black widows, wolf spiders, and centipedes. Lots of centipedes that are just freaky. But we put peppermint in here. Yeah, we we googled it, and centipedes and spiders don't like peppermint. Uh, what's it called? Essential oil. Peppermint essential oils. So yeah, this is the basement. It's it's came a long way since the beginning. It really has, but this is like the least used room. So it is what it is. This is the most disgusting room. Yeah, and world. the stairs. I love the stairs. The green and the black look super cool when you're walking up, especially. Summer's sleeping, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have her do her room. <laughs> but we'll go. Let's see where we're going to the bathroom now. Take you through the bathroom. So the bathroom has this super cool piece of metal dude. He's grinding the light switch. He's doing a little switch front salad. I love how he's locking in. I wasn't even gonna put this up, then I seen it one day. I was like, that fits perfect. And we got the towel rack. My sister made this and sells it on Society6. So we had it at our old house, and then we we're like, oh, it's perfect. And it goes with everything in here. It's kind of cool too because the yeah. light comes through. Mm -hmm. The skulls are sweet. We got this dead meat, dead meat piece here. Some cool flash and crystals and potions. I got my uh, my crocodile or alligator head. My parents got me from Florida from like so long ago, at least ten years ago. And then on another recent trip in 2017 or 19, they found this guy who painted actual mushrooms. So they got, they got me this. And it's pretty sweet. Got some bath crystals that we'll never use again because they stain the tub blue. Got this little fake tree. Some pineapples, we got some more fake plants, bunch of good stuff in here, brushes and straighteners and band-aid drawer. Literally all band-aids because Summer is an addict. If she does anything, she thinks she needs a band-aid. And we got the hair dryer. We got our nice clean shark rug. This thing is, we just got our driveway paved so every time we come in to get a shower, our feet are covered in dirt so it's all messed up. Summer's little potty, which she's upgrading now. She's she peed on the big potty today by herself. We got all the bath toys. Almost all of these come in every bath. Every single toy. We got the tile work. We do got the jets working and everything. We got a nice view of the neighbors. We do have a thing to like fog this up. We just never did it yet. Just like a film we'll put over the window. Yeah, with the tile cube out really nice, and all three of us fit in here. We take baths in here all the time. And That's the bathroom. It's the vanity. Yep. Not even hooked up yet. Woo! Jesus. Perfect. And then we got the closet. We were going to put a door here, but it's kind of unnecessary. We're in and out of it so much that it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, so we got our toothpaste, our towels, our towels, our towels, and we got a humidifier and plunger, and that's it. Pretty much all you need in here. This is the bathroom. We're going, to, oh, we're going to our bedroom where Summer is currently sleeping. Walk in, we have another dead meat parent right here with the boobies out, Reaper. I love the scythe, the boobies, the spiders, it's super cool. I got one of my favorite photos, Figgy. Fake and destroy, crook on this huge rail. Crazy. Walk around here, we got, this is my first tattoo I got from the guy Ben. This is the stencil, I love saving them. Got the Sayosin album. Nightmare for Christmas is the best. Here's another tattoo I got right here. It's Medusa, and then here's another skull I saved. The skull right here. Just love mm -hmm. saving them. And we got some of my favorite Transworld covers that I framed. This is like one of my best ones. I wanted to like ask everyone to get a better copy, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. It's all bent up though. Yeah, this is sweet, and I love this cover too. Nick Trapasso. I got this pretty rare fingerboard or handboard. Alien Workshop, Jason Dill. This was one of the prints we made that came out too dark, so I just placed it here. But it fits for there now. Your toys. My <laughs> my little toy collection. I got. So I, this was the first one. I've always had this, and then this was from a skateboard contest. Bought this little boo. And one day we were in Target because Summer loves Target. And I seen all these Mario toys, and I, I love Shy Guy. He's one of my favorite characters. So I was gonna open it, but then I got another one, and I was like, all right, I'm not opening these. So we got the Shy Guy, the Dry Bones, and I got the Boo, all from the same series. And now I don't even see them sold anymore, so that it might be done. Maybe it's worth money later. 
I got this Little Nightmares Collector's Edition, which some are ripped right here, which really bothered me. And uh, I bought that for $39, and now they sell on eBay for $200, but not anymore because it's all ripped up. But it's got the collectible toy and the poster downstairs. So This is my first tech deck. Jamie Thomas, limited edition, Smith and this giant rail. First one, they started making them so much different since that one. And this was just an ultra rare that I got, so I saved it, and it's got the, the blind blind logo, he's got the sickle, a little Grim Reaper stretched face. Uh, when I was in Virginia, I got this penny made into a great white shark, Virginia Beach. I don't know if you can see that, but... And I got this little Zelda guy, this was just given to me by Chris, I think. And this was a Christmas present when I lived in Philly by my roommates, this little Yoshi, because we'd always play Mario Kart and I'd always be Yoshi and beat him. Got the Rick patch. One of me and Emily's first photos that my mom took. We got this Aces CBD. I've been, this has been a lifesaver over the last couple of weeks to month. They had, they like contacted me through Instagram. They sent me a sample pack out and just had me try it out and all this. And before and after I go skating, I put it on my lower back and it actually lets me skate. And like long car rides, I need it. It's, it's amazing. It's supposed to be like super high strength CBD, 11.5 milligram CBD per or 11,500 milligrams per can here. And it's just, I put a little dab on my back or my knee, wherever joint muscle, your neck, your wrist, your elbow, anything that's hurt and you rub that on there, five minutes later, you're just like, and it's all like, it's like icy hot and it's really soothing. It's it has great. a lot of menthol. Yeah, I might get my own code for a discount for 25% off if anyone's interested in it. Just let me know in the comments because this stuff really works if you're like getting older, still skating, your back hurts, your knees hurt. This, it really, really works. It does the trick. Um, random stuff. These are just random little drawers, just chargers, and this cool golf ball I got when I went miniature golf and I saved it. In the Pocono, right? Yeah, it was like three bucks. Summer always tries to take it from me. The lava lamp. Got my lava lamp. This thing's pretty old. It's, it's super not hot. It doesn't lava. Lava. It doesn't do anything anymore. It just does that. So I don't know what that means, but. Got the little shelf. All my DS games, I think, is pretty much retired. This has been huge. We've been using this all the time. Took so many pictures, and then we get the Polaroids for the fridge, and we made somewhere a whole book. We've got like two spots left. There's some really good pictures in here. Let me try and find some. Like this one. These are Summer's favorites. This super bubble bath that we took. <laughs> They're great. Awesome pictures. So we can see her grow up in different years, and then this is like her from zero to three. Then the next book could be like. We only have like two more spots left. Yeah, we're pretty much filled up. I got some new strings for my guitar. Some new picks for when I decide I want to play guitar and learn. This is from my GoPro Hero 4, all that stuff. This is all my Hero 9 stuff. We got the, the old lens in here. The original lens, extra batteries, tripod, stuff like that. The original lens it came with. I use the, the lens mod almost 100% of the time because it just films so good and so wide. And this is just like underwear and socks and yeah, underwear and socks. Yeah. We got our, our nightlight, which is the salt, salt lamp. Person. Keeps the air nice and it just looks really cool. We got our sleeping baby. Our bed. Got a bed that is, it fits pretty snug. It fits pretty good for being it's a humongous king size bed. size bed in this tiny room. Mm -hmm. We had them add this. No, this actually was a closet. This was the only closet in the mm -hmm. house. So this is where we keep all our clothes. Extra clothes, pajamas and pants, all my shirts, Emily stuff, Emily stuff, Emily stuff. So this is like stacks of clothes I wear. These are like retired. These are like I might wear them. <laughs> And then there's all my pants and stuff. And we had them build the shelves though. Yeah, we add, they added the shelves in. So yeah, that's where our clothes and everything is. And I'm too excited. Oh yeah, I built that uh, handcrafted uh, keychain holder. <laughs> <laughs> we had to take this from summer because it was getting everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Slime is the and worst. Then we got baby books up there and just retired t-shirts. Sheets. Yeah, yeah, new sheets, extra sheets. Um, we got my Shane Cross framed picture. Got my frame chain cross over here from the old room. And these were the, the Angelo Parente tats that me and Emily got. And these were the drawings. Loved them. So we had to frame them. That's the one I got. 
and this is her piece. They came out incredible. We posted them on, on Instagram. And I am going to make a tattoo update video. Like I said, I'm going to be getting a new tattoo on this Thursday. So once that one is pretty much healed, then I'll do a, a review on all the new ones I've got. Because since the last video, I've probably gotten like 20 tattoos since I made a tattoo update video. <laughs> the stairs. So we got our laundry, a spiral. Go up Are we going up? Yeah. And turn the light on. Yeah. It gets kind of toasty up here, so we got the, that fan. And the house. It's just it's just been a hot week. Okay, yeah, she's got her little like American doll set up here. But she just uses it for LOLs. Like anywhere you look, there's just LOL dolls will pour out of like I'm sure there's some in the cabinets. Oh, that has chalk in it. <laughs> chalk and hairbrushes are hidden in those cabinets. So yeah, she's hooked on LOLs. We got my amp and my guitar. Futon, this thing is sweet. It's so comfy like this, but then when you lay it flat, it's not the most comfy thing in the world, but it is pretty summer nice. Summer sleep sometimes. Yeah, we use it. We pile it up with blankets in summer. I'll sleep there and we'll sleep there some nights. Got my mouse record. Nice little window. We got, this is my original old bed. It was just stored at my parents' house, so we decided why not have two bedrooms? So if we want to sleep up here, we can. And we sleep up here like half the time. It's really comfy, but I sleep on the inside, so sometimes I hit my head, but it's all right. It's not the worst. It's pretty sweet. I've got this Rick and Morty blanket that I love. It's just a whole bunch of monsters. It's hard to even see what the heck's going on on it. But You've had this for like, what, three years? I've had years? it for a while, for a long time. Rick and Morty blanket. And then we got the new, the 4K TV. We bought this for this room. It's for, a Roku. Yeah, it's for, uh, we got the Xbox. So I can play my Xbox 360 games, my Xbox One games, and then I got the Switch up here. Cause Summer just loves watching me play the Switch. She really likes, uh, she loves when I play Mario. She likes Mario 3D World the most. Any Mario game with Rosalina, really. She loves being, I have to be Rosalina if I play. <laughs> Her cousin Molly is 10 years old, and I guess if you're 10 years old, this is what you play with. She has like 45 of these, so. Summer has a couple of them now. I guess it's kinda satisfying, but. I don't really understand it yet. More toys. And then we got her second toy room over here. Even though you didn't see her first one yet. But uh, this is this is where she likes to play up here by herself. She's got her bag of Barbies. Bag of bag of just ponies. More Barbies. And then stuffed animal section. All this stuff. Girls have a lot of toys. So yeah, this was just nothing. There was an antenna up here and a whole bunch of insul insulation. And now it's a whole play place, place to sleep, watch TV. It's just really cool. I like it up here. It's tight and it's pretty small, but it just is perfect. It's a nice size. And Summer loves it up here. We got another one of these mushrooms. This perfect little night light up here. Watch, we turn the light off. It's a, as soon as you lose light, it just comes on. It's so sweet. And then it, it just changes colors the whole time. Yeah, this is a great little breeze up here. Oh, this yeah. is probably my favorite part of the whole house up here. This is your favorite part? Mm -hmm. Mine's the front room, I think. But yeah, this mushroom is sweet. There's like, it's just cozy up here. All right, let's go wake her up and we'll show you guys her room. All right, so the world wants to know. They want to see your room tour. Can you do it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Show us where your room is. She's got her popsicle. She's getting a ride. She called an Uber. Ready? All right. Here's Summer's room. What do we got in here? You can set her down, Mommy. Show us what you got. Did you have anything cool? Yeah. What? Her. You got this cool Barbie. What's all this stuff over here? What's this? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig's house? Princess house. I have candy. You have some candy? You got candy hidden in there? What the heck? Are you serious? <laughs> what else do you got? You got candy hidden in this house? Yeah. There's more Pez in there. It's Pez? Yeah. Do you like these dolls? What are these called? Owls. Do you have a lot of them? Mm -hmm. How many? One. Two. All of them? Are they everywhere in here? Do you have 9,000 LOLs? What's all this stuff? What's this, a kite? You got your own kite? 
That's really cool. What's your favorite toy in here? Oh, the, the cute little donkey. Oh, that looks like a cute little kitty. Is that all stuffed animals? Yeah. Why do you have so many toys? Don't don't take them out. What about that horsey? Is that your horsey? Uh, How does that work? You can ride that thing. Show Let me us. see. Why no? not? Show us. My room is a mess a little bit. It's a little mess in here? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just show us what else you got. I want to see what's in that corner. Uh, uh, my school. Oh, yeah. Is that your dolly school next to it? Yeah. Oh, so you got your school, your dolly school. What about this big thing? What do you do over here? Ooh, what's that? You cook over there? What kind of food do you cook? Grape. Grapes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Vegan food? Mm -hmm. Here, eat it. Now get get me out of time out. What? Oh, look. Can you cook me something, Sam? Look, Spirit's in time out. I guess you can get out of time out. Yeah, cook me up something good. Okay. Something easy. We got LOL accessories, headphones, lights. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, you made that fast? That was quick. What you, is made, that? you made me a raw banana? No way. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Very delicious. Um, what do you do with this? Uh, Does it work? Pop up. How about now? Pop up. Pop up. Batteries must be dead. More accessories. We got posters. I love you. <laughs> Those are from your birthday. Mm -hmm. Your birthday. And then my sister painted this monarch that we hung up. And Emily painted this. Her summer and mommy. You like that? Mm hmm. Her what else? What board? else you got? Look, show them your weather board. What do you do over here? Sun. This you so the sun, or if it's rainy or something. You change the weather. <laughs> you change the weather. Oh no way! How about over here? What do we got up on this? Uh, bows. Is that your unicorn hat? Yep. That's pretty crazy. Is that your skateboard? Yep. And her shoes. And her shoes. What's in here? Uh, my clothes. Just all our clothes. Nothing that exciting in there. We got a backpack on the wall. That's pretty much it. Oh, we got blocks in the bottom and, and bowling, bowling balls. Anything else you want to say about your room before we get out of here? Yeah. What about your rug? Oh, do you like this rug? Yeah. Any favorite colors in mine? Yep. What? I Did you just fart it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, maybe ride your horsey and say, see you later, guys. See you later, guys. Well, on your horse, let me see. Say, so, that's it. That's the room tour. Yeah, I'm going to pop off. Say, I'll take you guys to the outside now. We'll show you a little tour of the backyard. You want to show them outside? Small update. All right, let's go outside. Let's take our popsicle out there. Ready? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, so we just got this fence installed literally today. A couple hours ago. So yeah, I'll show you a quick, quick glimpse of it. Inside right now we have our trampoline, the water slide, we have parts to make a park. We got our house with the new fresh gutters. Paint job is looking good. And then yeah, we got this side of the house. Still needs a little touch up on paint, but yeah. So yeah, we just got this today. As well as last week, we paved the skate park. Let's go show them the skate park. You like that? Yeah. Favorite park? Okay, so you open this up and it's gonna walk out to like 15 feet and then our fire pit will be right here. It's, it's right down there currently. Oh, take a little walk. Walk, walk, walk. All right, we got the couch. I gotta drag it a little farther. The Superman swing, Summer's toys. What's your favorite swing out here? That one. <laughs> then we got this swing, okay, ready, that swing, ready, these guys. swings. We got our scooter and bike. Let's say this is her favorite. Ready? Superman swing with a popsicle edition. Yeah. See him? Yeah, it goes. Go straight. Hold on, please. You're not holding on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, her cousin Molly gave us a bunch of swings and that those pieces of the playground that we're gonna hook up later. But this has been her favorite one for a little while. What's so fun about this one? It, it, because it's so high, I just love it. 
You just love it because it gets you so, it takes you so high? Yeah. Sweet. Tickle monster. <gasps> Tickle monster. All right, I'm going to show him the skate park now. Have fun on there. All right, then I began to start painting my rails. I probably should have filmed the process, but this was just covered in rust and now it looks pretty sick. Call it the Ninja Turtle rail, lime green and purple. So this is the absolute beginning stages of my skate park. It's just paved this week. 60 foot by 60 foot this way by 45 that way. I got the whole plan drawn up. I made this rail completely solid purple and is permanently in the ground forever. And that's it for now. It's incredible though. It's a dream come true. For sure. All right, guys, it has come to conclusion. Thank you for everyone who's watched this whole time and checked out all 22 or 23 portions of this and watched the whole process happen, but it's in crazy transformation and is finally complete. So next I can actually go back to uploading regular videos and do more tip tricks and skating videos in the backyard. And then I'll have some progress whenever we start building the park, there'll be like backyard updates and stuff. But uh, yeah, until then, peace out guys.